most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Hi, everybody. Well, we've had quite a stretch of weather, and that is going to continue here over the next two days. I think we can crack 80 today and tomorrow. It's going to be near record warmth, and we'll get into all of that as we show you downtown Lancaster at this hour. Not as chilly as it has been. 49 degrees, not bad. Still a chill in the air, though. It is fall after all. It is late October, but 49 is not bad. That's where the dew point is, so temperatures will likely hold there as we have mainly clear skies. It's in the mid-40s for Mannheim. Lewistown is at 48. Lancaster Country Day School also in the 40s. Same with Lidditz. Warwick Middle School is at 49 degrees. The winds are calm. It is clear. It is a very pleasant morning, and we can see that here on the satellite radar loop. Not much to show. It's been quiet. I feel like a broken record, but there has not been much to talk about as we continue another stretch of warm, dry weather. And even when we get cooler here by the end of the week, we're not really expecting any rain to swing through here. Temperature is actually in the 50s still for Harrisburg and Lancaster uh, Airport, 52 degrees there in East Pete. And we've got 46 in York, 48 in Chambersburg. Again, this is not bad. And in fact, this is about a, a 5 to 10 degree jump from where we were yesterday. So uh, it's just a warmer air mass and uh, it is going to be toasty again later this afternoon. You know, we almost hit 80 yesterday. We were at 79. That's well above the average of 63. Now the record high today is 83 degrees. That was set back in 1947. We're going to get close to that. I think that record will be safe, but I do think we can get to 80. We only have a half inch of uh, surplus on the year now as we continue to add to our tally of rain free days over the course of the last week or so. This is Willow Hill, Fanet Metal uh, Junior High, and we can see that we've got temperatures climbing to near 80. It is going to be nice and toasty here today, and I think we're going to do that the next two days, especially tomorrow. A nice stiff southwest breeze is going to help to usher in warm temperatures. Right now we've got a big ridge that is sitting over New England, Pennsylvania, the Ohio Valley, uh, and parts of the Mid-Atlantic, and that's because we've got a warm front here. So we're in the warm sector, uh, both ahead of the cold front and behind the warm front, and uh, that front is going to move through tomorrow night, but it's not going to really do much because there's just too much dry air in place, as uh, we can see. It's going to be sunny, warm, and dry here the next two days, and by the time this front swings through, it's already a moisture-starved front. We really don't expect any rain with it, uh, maybe across northern Pennsylvania. We've got Halloween parades uh, coming up over the next two weeks and Gettysburg happening tonight at seven clear and pleasant. It doesn't get much better than this for a parade night. Temperatures should be in the upper 60s. It's, it cools off quickly when that sun goes down, but with highs near 80 today, it should be a nice and mild evening on tap in Gettysburg for their parade. Precision cast looks good uh, both today and quite frankly, all of tomorrow. There may be some clouds late in the day tomorrow from this front, but I, I think a lot of those hold off until tomorrow night and even a, a, a sprinkle. But for the most part, look at how that front just dries up. And then on Thursday, we remain breezy and it's going to be a cooler day with lots of sunshine here during the day Thursday. So highs the next two days. I think we're going to get very close, if not exceed 80 degrees. Precision cast keeping us right where we were yesterday. I think we can get to 80 tonight. Again, not as chilly. We dip down into the mid 40s, most likely. And then as we look ahead into the day tomorrow, highs should and again, I mean should this cools us off a bit, but I think with a strong southwest flow and lots of sunshine, I think it's misreading the situation. I think both today and tomorrow ahead of that front, we will be near 80 degrees. So not much of a breeze today. I think that changes here on Wednesday. We can see that. Notice we've got winds from the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then looking ahead, look at the winds tomorrow here. Wind speeds out of the north at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Quite breezy. Indeed, the extended outlook showing you again, temperatures are going to cool off after this warm stretch 80 the next two days, and then we get much more seasonable here by the end of the week. Temperatures returning into the low 60s by the weekend. There's going to be a secondary front coming through Friday night, and while this could bring us a stray shower or a sprinkle again, most of the rain's going to dry up, leaving us with a pretty nice weekend here and a cooler weekend, especially by Sunday. I don't really see any rain until late next week, which would happen to be on Halloween night maybe from a front that comes through, but that's too far away to tell. Until then, it stays dry. So sunny today and warm, 80 degrees. Tonight, 48, clear and pleasant. Check out the next seven days of your life. Very mild here the next two days with temperatures near 80. It's going to be a breezy day tomorrow and Thursday, although we are going to cool off to around 60. And then another front will come through here uh, Friday into Saturday with partly cloudy skies. I really don't expect much rain with that. And then we're going to cool off again heading into Sunday and next week. So that's where we should be. I mean, it should be kind of cool, right? It's the mm -hmm. end of October. There's no rain, though, and we are going to need it soon. We, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Brett. Stay yep. with us. We'll be right back.